Well, yeah, um, and then of course you got all that's already coming off. It's, it's, the glue's just not holding. Okay. And how do you? There's no way that we can't not run on it mm -hmm. at some point. What do you feel like the the best uh, scenario will be? And well, what will happen if you can't host the Renault? Um, I think we could still do it on time um, if we can get the dry days for them to get out here and work. Um, and like I said, we'll give up the track long enough for them to get out here and, and get it done. But uh, um, we've, we've got to have them out here. I mean, they've, they've just got to get out here to do the work. Um, it, it may mean extra materials at this time because, again, I, I, I'm not a, a track expert for as far as building them, but with that rubber coming loose, um, I think they're going to have to re-glue and, and re, you know, um, redo it before they seal it. We still got to do another layer sealing and, and get the lines on before the Renault, and that's three weeks away. So yeah, I, again, I don't, I don't know that that's even feasible at this point. Uh, it'd be disappointing if we couldn't do it because uh, we missed the Renault last year due to weather. Mm -hmm. So missing two years in a row just it hurts the program. Goodness. Yeah. And what's it been like uh, running without the lines and everything done? We can't really do what we're supposed to do, like, accurately, because it's just not the same. Sprinters had to go to the flat rock track today to practice handoffs because we don't have the exchange zones here. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. Well, thank